serial bandits with a knack for small town ATMs and leaving a trail of destruction behind. So far, businesses in Gracemont and Anadarko have been hit after thieves drove through buildings just to get the cash. News Force Caitlin Ogle surveying the damage earlier in Caddo County. Well, the Sussex setting their eyes on the ATMs inside of the two businesses, only taking off with the cash from the saloon. While they make repairs, the owners are telling other business owners to look out. The whole bottom, even of the wall, was just like pushed way in, like it was gone. If you got an ATM, they're coming for it. Two rural business owners with a similar story. I walked in and just, I was devastated because of the work we put in on this thing. Johnny Bob Kurtz says burglars hit his branding iron saloon Monday night, backing up a stolen truck through his bar, leaving behind thousands of dollars in repairs. So all this casing has got to be rebuilt. Uh, this is going to be probably the big part of getting this thing put back together. And all the plumbing back there. That's what I was concerned about. That right there, I'm just, I hate that. Saloon staff becoming detectives, following the thieves' trail etched in mud after dragging the machine behind a truck, possibly by a chain. They spotted the truck and was like, it's here. ATM was laying right beside it. They got into it. $1,980 gone. The suspects nowhere in sight, only leaving behind a truck that Kurt says was stolen. Fast forward just two days later, 4.45 a.m. Wednesday in Gracemont. Possibly the same crooks caught on camera using the same M.O. on Pete's stop and go. And they rammed the store hard. There was glass way out in the parking lot, like the door frame to the double doors. Throwing a chain around the ATM, but not hooking it up to the truck, then running off leaving owner Barbie Morgan and her family to clean up the mess. And we had gla double glass doors right here and then a big window right there. Part of the wall is still attached to the ATM. Both Kurtz and Morgan say the community is helping with cleanup so they could stay open. The farmers were like, oh, I've got some extra gloves in my truck. Um, people started pulling trash cans out and tubs. Yeah, people just started showing up and I mean, just started cleaning out. I got no quit in me, I'm not gonna close, so. We opened up that night. Warning others and wanting justice. Just catching them, period, will be satisfaction enough, you know, for the work we put in on this and then ruin it in 15 seconds. And Pete's Stop and Go says new windows and doors should be on their way soon, and the saloon says it should have repairs made in a couple of weeks. The Caddo County Sheriff's Office says they have no suspects yet.